Hi. In this uh, screencast I will demonstrate how to use the model loader adapters project to load external 3D um, models to your to your uh, 3D world. And um, I did it with uh, libgdx uh, framework. So I'm using their um, their model loader to uh, to add 3D model support to Droid R. And first you have to check out the uh, model loaders adapters and then uh, additionally three models from libgd uh, three three projects from libgdx. Um, you can see it by checking the properties from the from the model loader adapters project. Here you can see in the bypass the project you have to download these three uh, projects from libgdx. You will find it in their uh, yeah, SVM structure. And of course you additionally have to link it to DroidR. And then you will have some errors. For example, this error here is in the test package. You can just delete all these test classes because we won't need them. So delete them, then this error should be gone. And the other error is in the model loader adapters, and we can fix this error by changing uh, in the backend Android. Here we have to change the class to public. These are the only modifications you have to do in the libgdx stuff. I didn't find a workaround yet around these two steps, but then it should work. And the errors in the GDX connection should disappear. Um, yeah, then go to the model loader setup. That's a small demo setup I created to explain how the model loader works. Um, you first have to set up the GDX connection. It will initialize some variables and um, yeah, initialize all the libgdx stuff. And after you call this method. You can create a new model loader, you pass a file name and the texture name, and um, when the model is loaded, it will be done in the rendering thread, um, you can, yeah, you get this loaded 3D model, and you can uh, pass a, a set it in an object like any other mesh component. Uh, internally, it's an GDX map uh, mesh, and this is just a wrapper class for um, the um, GDX mesh model stuff. Um, you don't have to care about this, just uh, use this, this GDX mesh like any other mesh component and um, yeah, add it to an object and add the object to the world and then you should see the 3D object. Um, yeah, that's um, enough, I think. That should be all. Um, if you have any questions left, uh, just post them to the issues section just here and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thanks.